我还有，就是叫那会有嘛。I thought, you know, why don't I just sit down and sew this last tree piece? So I did, and now I'm notching it out. I, I've got this slow boat to China going on here, notching this thing out. It's a slow boat to China. <laughs> Ain't no fun. Oh, God. <laughs> I was just thinking about, about that. I think I've told y'all about it before, about when school was let out there at Leander. We was in the grade school. We had to, we lived two miles from the school, and we, we didn't ride the bus. We had to walk both ways. Well... Uh, when, as soon as the bell rang, I'd run out of class. I would run as much as I was physically able to all the way home. Of course, I'd have to stop and walk a few steps, you know, here and there. You know, and, but I'd, I'd haul ass to the house as fast as I could trying to beat my brother. My brother would be behind me. Somewhere behind me hauling ass, too, because he knew what I'd do. Get the house before he did, I'd run in that house, throw my school books on the floor, slam that door shut, and lock it behind me. And lock him out. I'd run to the back door. I'd lock that black back door. Oh, he'd be pounding on the doors, yelling and cussing. And I knew I was going to pay hell for it. But... I would do that time and time again so I could get home before him and put the channel on so I could watch Star Trek. Now, I'm talking the original Star Trek. This was back in the 60s. I still like that show. It's a pretty neat show. I think it was ahead of its time. I think uh, Roddenberry knew some things somehow because he was way ahead of his time. But, uh, yeah, that's what would happen so I could watch Star Trek and then I'd unlock the door and let him in. I didn't want to because I knew he was going to kill me. But I had to let him in. He didn't. And be like this, he'd be hitting all over my arm, bruising my arms up, man. God, my arms were always bruised up. <laughs> he hit me. Shit. Cussed me out and <laughs> beat my arms. Because <laughs> he'd have to sit, because it, it lasted, what, I think, is it an hour, an hour episode? So he, after school, he'd be out there thirsty, hungry, might need to use the bathroom. And I'd sit out there and wait an hour till I would start track. <laughs> 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 
Ain't that crazy? <laughs> That's what we did when we was kids. Me and Judd, we, we fought like cats and dogs all the time. We played games together and we fought together. It's a wonder we didn't kill each other. Wonder. I remember almost hitting you in the head with a railroad spike. Railroad spike. Actually, almost, just almost hit right in the head. Yeah, man, it just barely missed his head like that. And yet, bad boy, that made you a lot. He was really mad. You know, oh, you really coming after me. And I thought, oh, shit. <laughs> It's by the grace of God, the will and the grace of God that we survived our childhood. The way it was, what we went through. We practically had to raise ourselves like latchkey kids because we didn't have a mom. And the stepmoms didn't hang around long. Never did, my dad never did stay married for very long. <laughs> it always ended up getting divorced. <laughs> they didn't understand dad, and he didn't know how to express himself. I don't think he even, he even understood his own feelings because I went for many, many years of my own life not understanding my own feelings. Much less, how could I explain it? what was dolls going on in my heart and mind and soul to other people? I couldn't. So people just made their assumptions about him. Well, he suffered in silence. Well, now. My dad, you know, one of the reasons I'm so proud of my dad is because in spite of all the hardships he went through, he kept hanging in there. He kept hanging in there, hanging in there, hanging in there, hanging in there, and he took care of his responsibilities. And he didn't go around. Well, he, he he probably needed somebody to talk to that was a a mature and understanding person, compassionate person with a lot of wisdom. He needed that, but he didn't have that. So, sadly, but happily, all that's in the past, and Dad's in heaven, and he's happy. A lot has changed since way, way back then. Thank God. Thank God.
Yes, you know what I'm saying. That's what I mean. Yeah, and this will go out now. I'm going to cut that right there so it will go out. Okay. Alright. I need to cut a little snotch right there. A little snotch. Oh, we, ha we have had an unexpected visitor. His name is Sean. I won't give out his last name in case he don't want his last name given out. His name's Sean, and uh, he's friends with us. Of course, my, my husband was, was friends with his daddy for many, many years. His daddy's passed on, but Sean, he, he comes to visit now and then from out of town. Snatch it out right there. Well, this just this is so tedious. Boy, oh, I hate this this snatching. It takes a long time. Whew. Wears out my neck muscles, my shoulder muscles. Uh, okay. Let's see now. You notch it right there. Right. There, there, and maybe right there. All right, both sides on there. That, yes, I still got to do. This one and that one down there. Here we go. You get this notched out. Yeah. to stretch it out between my two fingers here, my thumb and my finger. Just stretch it out and then I can just go ahead and snip, snip, snip. Whew. Oh, I'm tired. That wore me out. Whew. I'm not kidding you. That, you, that flat wears me out because all my Neck and shoulder muscles, or arm muscles, everything just all tensed up. It's like doing some kind of a cutting marathon or something. <laughs> a cutting marathon. Have you ever heard that old saying, you'll be surprised who makes it to heaven and who don't? Well, if you know somebody well enough, you won't be surprised. <laughs> if you have known somebody for a long time and you don't know it, you're surprised and how come you're surprised? How come you don't know them well enough to know if they was born again Christian or not? Because the subject always comes up sooner or later between two 
believers, true believers. And besides, you can feel it. Especially, you know, if somebody's walking close with God, you can feel it. You can feel it. are just sweet babies. That's what they are. They're animals are sweet, innocent babies. That's what they are. Sweet, innocent babies. And that's all of that now. I can turn it right side out and then I can sew these together. What I'll have to do first though, what I want to do first though is iron these edges out iron them out because I, I know stuffing it will stretch it some nah I ain't gonna iron them out now nah. shoot that's just too much okay now this we take this and we poke it down. Poke it. Well, I tried. Yeah, I tried. But now we take this. When we was kids growing up, we had chickens and ducks, and we was always imitating them and quacking and clucking and carrying on. <laughs> I suppose all kids do that, yeah. <laughs> Think back on it now. We were so goofy. <laughs> we were so goofy. <laughs> goofy kids. Well, I'm going to have to get this up in there, push that out. Let me see. I have to carefully push this out. Carefully. Carefully. That's it. Right there. No further. Well, I let go of it there. Okay, we're gonna we pull that on through. Pull it on through. That's <laughs> another thing. Me and my brother said, we, we said, you know, we said it, talk about needlework and stuff, yarn and stuff. Pull it on through, pull it on through. You put your needle in there and you pull it on through, you pull it on through. <laughs> my brother. I miss it. I miss it.
I used that one. <sighs> All right, now let's turn this one down in there. Yeah, I'm poking it up there. Poking that up there. I tried to. That one's not going to go real far, and I don't want to bust stitches out trying to force it. Yeah, so now here we go. I'll turn this one in. Get on in there. Get on in there. Yeah, turn, turn. Alright. Uh, put that in there and we'll see what we're going to do here. There's that, but it's got to go over here, <laughs> over here on the same side with these. Look at them, they're all going to come out the same place. Look at this, it's going to turn out, look, how exciting actually, look, <laughs> it's kind of exciting. <laughs> it reminds me of a some kind of a starfish or a sea creature. <laughs> now, yeah. pull this stuff out and get ready to stuff it. Oh yeah. Need to pull this one, this one out some more here. I'm going to have to go up in there and do it and get this. do surgery on this here. I gotta go into it with my forceps here and <laughs> go into this abdominal cavity here and <laughs> try to poke that up right in there. Come on, poke up a little more if you can. Come a little more. That's a lot better than it was. A lot better. And this one on this side, I need to try to poke it too. Get over it through here. So, well, the stripes are off on this. Let me see if they are. Well, no, that's supposed to be like that is up here at the top. Supposed to be like that. <sighs> 
show. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much in the middle there. <clears throat> well, I have to decide now which way do I want this here to go. I don't know. <laughs> well, put it that way where this will stick out. Yeah, it'll look better this way. Yeah, that's it right there. Now I gotta get these lined up perfectly together. <sighs> oh, they have to be perfectly lined up. You see, this is making me nervous. It's not even poked out. No wonder. It's not even poked out. Dang. Come on. I'm getting it. I'm getting it out a little bit here. Uh, this over here needs some help. Okay. Get over here. right here huh. I have to keep a clamp on them I don't see no clamp anywhere I need to get something on here to hold it This is right here where I'm holding it here. Oh. Okay. Now this. Okay. Get that out of there. Hang way in there. So there's three on each side, three in these, so there's going to be six of them stuffed. So, now I've got to, I've got to, so this is straight as humanly possible with God's help. With God's help. Help me, God. Okay. Whew. 
I barely got that in there. Had to poke that needle in from left to right with my, well, yeah, I did with my right hand, but doing it from left to right this way, it was so awkward. It was all I could do to get that in there, but I have to have it going this direction so it won't, the, the needles won't poke me while I'm sewing this. Because, uh, they will dang sure poke me if they're not pointing in this direction. I could just get it to go all the way through them layers there. Okay. I'd like to do one more because I believe that's going to help. Okay, so right about here, I'll start stuffing that through. And there's that one. Okay used my large size pins. And now, I know the moment of the truth. <laughs> Let's think about that. <laughs> I better go see who it is. I'm gonna go see who it is. And y'all can come with me. If I can get through the curtain here, down these steps without falling. Was somebody knocking? No, it's just, uh, knock. Huh? Was somebody knocking no. on the door? No, no, it was me. Oh, okay. I, I thought they left the window down. It's, it's no, closed. you closed the window. I opened it to let it air out yeah, in it here. Feels, it feels good. Mister? You want to leave right there? Or you close all the way? Closed all the way, yeah. I get it. You want to. He, he needs to turn. Yes. No, one in his bedroom. He said the one in the bedroom needed something. I'm going to bed. Because I want to. No. Well, all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> he gets oh, cranky. God, he's driving me crazy. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I can't even think. What? What's wrong with you? Yeah. It drives me nuts. When, hmm? It drives me nuts if somebody yells at me from one room to another. Room. And he does that. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Really, really. <laughs> well, I think that I'm going to be leaving early in the morning sometime, probably. Uh -huh. i got to figure out where the closest bank is to that town, if they have one or not, where I can go to a castle, what time the bank goes, and so I'm just going to fix it easy for a minute. Okay. i got to figure out. Well, I'm going to bed. I'll see you when I see you. Here or there. And you know what I tell everybody? Yes. If I don't ever see you again, I'll see you in the kingdom. That's right. That's right. That's better than saying I'll see you next Friday or whatever. Yeah. You know.
Well, baby, what you want? What you want? I'll find something. All right. There's dog food. Where? Beside the ice box. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
that hurt. forgotten y'all I just have to pay attention to what I'm doing here you know <sighs> all right uh, that's got it that's got it show it all the way because that clamp was in the way. Now, I could and I should, I suppose, come back up here and, yeah, I suppose I could and I should, I guess, and I suppose, I don't know. <laughs> I guess and I suppose, yeah, let's, let's do it. Go ahead. I don't want to, but I will. Is that, I don't want to because I sew through these thicknesses and that is oftentimes a problem. But it has to be done. This uh, last pin out of it. <laughs> All I gotta do now is stuff it. And see, I've got, see how they are? Uh, see how they are now? <laughs> Ain't that exciting?
just sit in there and stuff it and that it will be an episode for tomorrow because tonight's getting kind of late and I'm kind of tired and um I don't want to expose y'all to too much of all of it, all this excitement. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Hold on. Now the bummer part, the bummer part is going to be having to sew up these gaps on each and every one of these things. So that's going to be one, two, three. Six of them I have to show up by hand after I stuff them. <sighs> Call nine one one. <laughs> It's a slow boat to China. <laughs> well, I reckon that's it for now, y'all. Uh, the Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.